What's good YouTube? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. So, we actually have some PvP changes to go over. Who would have thought? So yeah, uh, if you weren't aware, patch 4.05 dropped today along with Omega Savage, new tombstones, their respective gears, all that good PvE stuff. But with it, we also got a semi-long list of PvP job ability changes uh, to balance some of the jobs and all that good stuff. So let, yeah, today, let's go over them, uh, see what changed, see how it affects the jobs, kind of give my opinion on different uh, changes. I can't give you that in-depth of a view on every single job. Obviously, I haven't played every single job that in-depth to give that sort of analysis. But let's go over them, see what changed. Uh, yeah, starting off with the tanks. Paladin, Hollow Ground. Uh, the additional effect of actions will now be inflicted on players using Hollow Ground even when they do not receive damage. So what this uh, changed in my mind, what this means is uh, if you get hit with a shield bash when you're in uh, Hollow Ground, you will still get stunned, uh, but you will not receive any damage while you're in it. So you will still get slowed, stunned, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. <laughs> uh, even when you're in Hollow Ground, but you will not get damage. So, I mean, fair change, I guess. Um, not that big of an issue, uh, but you can definitely have some gameplay opportunities around that. Uh, now, uh, then Warrior in a release, uh, recast time reduced from 120 to 90 seconds. I think that's needed to have Warrior be the more damaging tanks, have your burst up more uh, more often and be sort of a bigger presence uh, in a match and have more damage, uh, even though still I think they need more changes than just that to, to actually fill that role. But yeah, Onslaught as well. Uh, knockback is distance increased from three to six yards, so knockback uh, is going to be that you're going to be knocking people uh, way further, and the speed of which enemies are knocked back has been increased. So I think this change is really to balance out and help the people getting affected by that ability and every single knockback and like draw in ability as well, because before it seemed like you were sliding for fucking ever, and uh, now you will be able to regain. Uh, control faster and be able to react faster afterwards. So yeah, I think that was a needed change there. Uh, Dark Knight, same with the Warrior Onslaught. Uh, the drawing effect has been increased, like the speed of it, so you can recover faster. And then as well, a very fucking needed change. Sorry for swearing a lot, by the way. Uh, recast time has been increased from 10 seconds to 30 seconds, which is very much needed because before you could do Sort of like a 6-7 uh, second um, CC chain every 10 to 12 seconds with Dark Knight with having stun, silence and that uh, pull. So you basically stun, silence, walk a bit back, draw them in so they can't do any casts for about 6 or 7, seven seconds. And you can repeat that pretty much uh, 5 seconds after you're done. So could change right there. Uh, very much needed. Uh, then let's move on to the melee DPS. So Monk. Um, and Dragoon as well got the health bump bumped up by 500 health from 12.5k to 13k. Nice little health bump uh, isn't gonna make or break the class, but a uh, nice little boost. Can't say much if that was needed or not, but like uh, that was changed. Riddle of Fire for monks uh, was changed so that you get less damage uh, when you're in it. For so it was uh, bumped down from 30%. Damage increase to 20%, but also at the same time your recast uh, timer reduction was lowered. So you are not you are now getting lower. Uh, your recast time is getting lowered by 20% instead of 30% before. So you'll be attacking a bit faster when you're in Riddle of Fire. So that was what changed there. I can't say much on that how that affects Monk because I don't play it, but I think that's gonna be a a quality of life change once, I'd say. Seems like it anyway. But yeah, Dragoon, health bump. Uh, Ninja, assassinate, is going to be um, when you get a kill or an assist with it, uh, the recast timer is going to be reset. So basically that's a bit of like a snowball-y uh, effect on it. So if you get a kill or an assist, you get basically free damage right afterwards. Uh, so extra pressure to get another kill right after. So I think that's a nice quality of life for ninjas. Nice bit of extra pressure right there. Katan, uh, heavy effect increase from 25% to 50%. Uh, so, slows more, uh, but the effect duration has also been increased from 4 seconds to 3 seconds. And this seems to be a theme of every single CC, except silence, 
and buying so that um, every single CC aside from those two are now three seconds. But yeah, you're not using Katan that much anyway as a ninja. Uh, you're mu mostly using Piotan, but if you do use it, easier time for you to catch up and for your team. Um, Piotan, uh, bind reduction or bind duration reduced from five seconds to four seconds. I think there was needed. Uh, five seconds was a bit too long, I'd say. Uh, Samurai, uh, Midare reduced from 3.5k potency to 3k, and along with that, uh, Hisachi G10 has been decreased from 1k to 750. So I think these two really did need to change because if you were bursting someone down who was also attacking you at the same time, you could basically delete their face quite fast with those two, along with the, uh, the other components of your burst. So I think that was a needed change right there uh, to bring it in line with the other melee DPS. Uh, Machinist, ranged physical DPS, uh, that was uh, the only one that was changed. Bart was in touch, I think Bart is in a very good position right now, or, or a decent position anyway. So Gauss Barrel, your burst was reduced a bit, so bumped down from 10% to 5%, so damage reduction a bit there. Uh, leg raise, uh, same with the Katan. Uh, heavy uh, uh, change so from 25% to 50% and same duration for 4, 4 seconds to 3 seconds so uh, that's going to be standardized across all heavies pretty sure um, black mage next up is the damage threshold so that you get uh, the thunder 3 ready uh, basically your stronger dot it has been reduced from 6k to 5k so you'll have an easier time getting uh, that stronger dot on people than before so that's a useful change for black mages I'd say um, and also flares heavy has been increased from 2 seconds to 3 seconds to be in line with the others summoner um, breadworm trance has been the same with glass barrel from 10% uh, damage bar damage in damage increase I can't even speak anymore uh, down to 5% so a bit less burst water in it and the worm way basically or whatever your uh, Bahamut burst has been the potency has been reduced from 750 to 500 uh, so a bit less burst as well from Bahamut and then tri bind uh, bind reduction bind time reduction has been yeah I can't even speak anymore dude <laughs> so bind duration has been reduced from 4 seconds to 3 seconds like the other CC uh, and then red mage lastly on the casters DPS uh, Monomaki, which is basically the uh, debuff that you place on people to uh, increase the damage they take and reduce the damage they do to you, um, has been the recast time has been reduced from 15 to 10 seconds, so you can basically swap it around more frequently. Um, I say a nice quality of life for red mages. Flange heavy uh, duration increase from two to three, uh, like black mage uh, flare, and then jolt. MP cost reduced from 2 uh, 2k to 1.5 and same with impact. I don't know, I haven't played Red Mage that much. Um, I haven't played it at all actually. So I don't know if you guys were having MP cost, uh, MP issues at all in matches, but let me know down in the comments below if you like this change. Uh, seems like a nice quality of life, maybe, perhaps. So yeah, let's get into healers, which I know the best since I've been testing them uh, out the most out of all jobs. So yeah, uh, all the three healers, uh, has the health baseline has been increased from 2.5k to 12.5k, um, sorry, uh, to 13.5k. So 1k health bump up. Um, I think this is a nice change, but I don't know if this is just going to make White Mage and Scholar a bit too tanky. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Um, but... Then again, what healers are now quite vulnerable since they don't have any defensive cooldowns aside from Fluid Aura and, and uh, Aura Blast, but seems like a nice change. Afraid that it will make healers maybe a bit too tanky, but maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Stone 3, cast time reduced from 1.8 seconds to 1.3 seconds, so 0.5 uh, cast time reduction. You will get it out faster, you can get back to healing faster, uh, move faster, so nice change there. That's basically across the board for all healer 
damaging abilities, so Stone 3, Broil, and then Malefic 3. Um, Fluid Aura, Recast Timer has been reduced from 30 to uh, 20 seconds because you can't uh, reduce the Recast Timer anymore by using Lilies on it. And I think that's a nice change anyway because I don't think you'd want to specifically use the Lilies for a Fluid Aura anyway. So you don't actually accidentally waste them on Fluid Aura. So I think that's a nice color to like. White Mages. I know I didn't personally, but let me know if you thought this was a bad shade. Um, region has been bumped up from 1k to 1.5k, so stronger uh, heart healing for white mages. Um, this is gonna definitely uh, make white mages even even more of a solid solid choice for healing. And then divine venison along with that. So before you needed a lily to actually cast the ability at all, you didn't have it available if you didn't have lily. But now that requirement has been removed, so you can. Basically use that shield whenever it's off cooldown, whether if you reduce it or not. So that's a nice change, along with the region, uh, it's going to make uh, the white mage kit even more solid than it was before. So um, even more of a solid healing choice, healing pick uh, there. Uh, Scholar, the same health buff, uh, broil, same recast, uh, uh, the cast reduction, and then a very needed change. I really don't know who in the dev team thought the 1k per cast drain of MP was a great idea to have on a healer ability. Um, that was such an OP winning condition that I don't know who thought it was a great idea. But yeah, that has been changed from a uh, removed and changed from uh, change two. Uh, you get one ether flow stack per cast that you hit. Um, it is still a very strong uh, tool, so that each cast you get one free um, plus trait, so it will basically make you be able to DPS and help with kills a lot more and still heal somewhat effectively while you're doing that with instant lost traits. Every broil, uh, but we'll have to see how that plays out, but definitely a needed change from the 1k MP drain to that. But. Still a very strong trait to have on, on Royal. Strange Stratagem, uh, target damage taken reduced effect thingy has been uh, reduced from 10% to 5%, so you take less, uh, uh, take less damage while you're uh, affected by it. Uh, you don't take as much damage, uh, is what I meant to say. Embrace, potency reduced from 1.5k to 1k. Um, I don't know if that's, this was needed or not. No, I didn't notice the fairy being too OP while it was out. Uh, but someone who has tested Scholar more extensively, let me know. Um, Aura Blast. Uh, same heavy uh, effect has been increased from 25 to 50%. And then duration reduced from 4 to 3. So, same as with all the heavies. And then we get into Astrologian, which is basically my main healer. Which is why I'm so sad it's been watered down so much. Anyway. Some good changes here, so let's go over those. Uh, HP bump, the same as two two, two other healers. Uh, Melodic crew, cast time reduced as the same as the other three two healers uh, casts. But before we had a slow, which was basically useless, and that got replaced with a bind, which is going to be ten times more useful. Uh, basically, you can get away from the people that are chasing you. Uh, easier, you can save your teammates with that bind, or you can bind someone on the enemy team who is in a bad spot, for example, the healer, so that they don't have line of sight to their own team uh, anymore, whatever. So, fucking nice change there. Uh, very appreciative of that. Um, also, the duration has been reduced from 6 seconds to 3 seconds to be in line with the other CC. Uh, draw is basically going to give you 1k MP every single time you draw a card which is going to bring your MP management in line with the other two healers with White Mage with their um, size and Scholar with their Ether Flow. So happy about that change, it's going to improve your MP management quite a bit. Uh, essential Dignity, healing potency has been increased uh, from 1.5k to 2k, so more heals baseline and then the maximum potency the lower the target's health gets has been bumped up from 4k, 4.5k to 6k, so even easier time. Uh, uh, topping up people with low health, so nice change. 
I'd say. Uh, maybe a bit too strong, but we'll have to see. Uh, balance, well, every single card for that matter has been increased. A duration has been increased from 50 to 30 uh, seconds. The same as it was before the storm blood changes. Um, so that's a nice quality of life. It isn't as short as it was before. Uh, but interesting to see if, if that, that balance for 30 seconds is going to be too strong in the, in the new system. We'll have to see how the card, card changes play out. But that's how all the cards were changed. And also, uh, Sinistry the same way as Monokami from Red Mage. The recast timer on that has been reduced from 15 seconds to 10 seconds. So you can switch around uh, Sinistry more often. Uh, which is quite a bit of needed quality of life, I'd say. Uh, it's not as clunky anymore, um, so nice change, I'd say, uh, needed. The Orbit, which is basically, I honestly, I like this ability to be removed and replaced with something more useful, because right now it seems like a very mean ability. It's nice for saving people, but it's like, we could have something much more interesting and something much much better, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, recast timer reduced from 60 seconds to 45 seconds. So basically you can meme around and pull people more often. So yeah, that's that. So yeah, that's all the job changes. Um, some really needed and good changes right here. Um, I'd say I'm pleasantly surprised with with Square Enix actually changing stuff around and this many things around um, this early and this fast. So compared to what it what it took to nerf machinists to about one and a half years before in this, in Heaven's Word. So <laughs> definitely credit where credit is due. I was very skeptical before uh, about them actually going over and changing PvP, but. Future seems bright. Um, seems like they're actually, uh, actually looking to change, change around stuff quite frequently, and and see how the balance stuff is, and see how jobs are performing, and change according to what's needed. So, but yeah, uh, overall, really solid changes. Of course, more changes need to need to happen to make uh, PvP truly balanced, and and obviously all the time change change stuff and and make it as balanced as possible. Like if you like the video, subscribe for more content in the future, upcoming job guides, healing guides specifically, and uh, feast healing analysis videos and all that, all this sort of stuff. So subscribe for all that in the future, in the new, hopefully, near future. And see you guys in the next video, I guess. Have a nice day.